So there you are, taking the quarter exam. And you missed one that you need help with. And that's what I'm for. So let's get started. All right, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm going to try to highlight every question I go over so that you can fast forward to the help that you need for each question. Number one, let me make it a little bit larger. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Now, if you missed number one, my guess is you counted all these boxes and said that there's 40% that are shaded. But remember, the question is, how many are not shaded? So you need to figure out what is this percent. Okay? That's all the help you're going to get for that one. Numero dos. 35% of 50. Here's your hint. Convert that to a decimal. And then multiply times 50 and you will see your answer. Number three, solve this proportion. When you solve that proportion, you need to cross multiply two times 30 and three times x. And then to get x by itself, you're gonna need to divide both sides by three. Cross out the twins. You do this. You have to do this, and then you'll get your answer. You better not miss that with all that help. That's a lot of good help. Number four, 15% of 50. Convert this to a decimal, and then multiply it times 50. That should be all the help that you need, okay? Convert that to a decimal, multiply times 50. Because you're finding the percent of a number. Number five. Now, I'm not going to do this, okay? But I'm going to do one similar. Let's say it was 6x plus 2. Oh my God. Oh my God. He, this is why I write twos like this 2m. So, what I would do when I solve this is take 5 and put it for x, you're going to take 4, put it for m, and then you're going to put the 2 there, and the 6 there, and the plus there. Now, so I substituted this for x, I substituted this for m, and you see how I got the 5, and I just plugged it in place. Now, since they're side by side, I can multiply, and 2 times 4 is 8, and then I add to get 38. Okay? So how I solve that, oh my god, that's actually really sad and funny. There's no way. That's hilarious. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I didn't do I didn't do that problem wrong. Um, how I got that is how you need to solve this one. And you need to do this one the same way. If you do this right and you get your answer, you'll see why I'm laughing. Alright, number six. Um, so, convert that to a decimal, okay? Put a decimal at the end and move it, one, okay. move it once, twice. And then take this number, multiply it times 200, and you will get your answer. And you should see it. Okay, just make sure you remember about how to multiply with the decimals. If not, guess, you guys can actually use logic and figure this one out on your own. And what I mean by that is you know 9% of 100. You know what that equals. So, just do it twice. Okay? Remember, these two add up to be 200. So what do these two add up to be? Hope that helps. Number 7. What is 1.28 written as a decimal? Now, be careful with this. Remember, to write it as a decimal, you need to move the decimal two places to the right. So move this decimal right here two places to the right, and you will get your answer. One page down, three pages to go. What is this written as a percentage? So set up a proportion. We don't know the percent, and then 
cross multiply cross multiply and then divide both sides by 25 it's going to take you a little bit of time but if you take your time you can get that right okay number nine four percent written as a decimal again be careful with this you need to put a decimal at the end and then go two places to the left not the right but two places to the left okay number 10 18 states that have a border that's on the ocean and what percentage is this now remember 18 states out of 50 and they want to know what's the percent okay so think about what you multiply this by that times what is a hundred all of you should know that multiply this number times the same thing so whatever whatever this is multiply 18 by the same thing and you will get your answer that's a quick shortcut of doing it if you're not comfortable doing it like that that's fine you're just going to need to cross multiply and divide this times this and this times this so either way is going to give you the right answer if you do it correctly number 11 so you need to set up a percent proportion okay 18 is what percent of 20 there's my of right there I don't know the percent I'm going to put 100 there which means 8 goes there and then you've got to cross multiply 20 times x and then you're going to need to divide both sides by 20 and if you suck with long division sorry but here's your hint get rid of the zeros and 80 divided by 2 80 divided by 2 should be a lot easier for you so do 80 divided by 2 number 12 um, so you need to find out what percentage of the dates were rotten okay so out of 32 dates four were rotten now this one's a little bit harder because of the decimal so you need to cross multiply it's going to give you 400 32 times x is 32x and then you're going to have to take 400 divided by 32 to get x by itself I'll get you started okay boom and then figure out what number goes there guess what I just gave the answer away if you're using your brain okay part B 80% written as a decimal and a fraction um, so look at what I said for number 9 move the decimal two places to the left for the decimal and then as a fraction you gotta put that 80 over and what number is that 80% means 80 parts out of what? You better know that. True or false? I'm not going to go over that because if you missed it, it's obviously the other one. 10% of what number? Of what number? So when I set this up, my percent is there. There's my 100. Look, there's my of what? So I'm going to put an X there, which means 43 goes here. And then multiply. x times 10 is 10x and then divide by 10 divide by 10 now watch this surely you can simplify 430 over 1 and tell me what that equals okay distribute now if you forgot how to distribute I'm not going to do this I'm going to do one similar okay so I'm not going to do this one but do what I do for this okay just random numbers Here's how you do it. Three times, you multiply three times two x, you multiply three times eight, and then you bring down the plus sign. Whoa, whoa. And that is the answer. So, how I did that is exactly how you do this, okay? All right, that's done with page one, and I've got basically seven minutes to do page two, three, and four. So number 16 is probably going to cause a lot of you difficulty. Write the inequality for each of the graphs above. So you're going to start with an x. 
Now the good news is for A, you see that number right there? That's a 10. That's a 10. That's an 11. And so all you need to do is figure out what symbol goes right here. All right. So since these are open and open, it's going to be this or this. And since this is closed, it's going to be that or that. That's, a, that's all the help that I'm willing to give you for that one, okay? Number 17. So for number 17, remember PIMDAS. The order of operations. So you're going to do the exponent first, and then you're going to go and do the division, and then you're going to, going to do the subtraction. And remember, 10 squared is 10 times 10, not 10 times 2. So do 10 times 10 and then divide by 2, and then you're going to take 73 minus all of that. Number 18, simplify. So here's your hint. I'm going to get you started, okay? These are like terms. So I can combine to get this. And then I'm going to bring the plus 3 down, and the plus 20x down. Now from here, you got one more step to do. See if you can figure out what to do. Simplify, and then you have your answer. Number 19. I'm not going to help you with that. You better know 19 and 20 by now, okay? You better know what the exponent is. You better know what the variable is. 21. What's going on when you're looking at a fraction? It's either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And we've done it so much that you better not miss that one either. 22. So what you can do is you can take that expression, 2 to the third minus 10 over y. Ooh, I need to write that a little bit better. And you're going to take this, you're going to take this 5, and you're going to substitute it in place of y. And then do this part first. Actually, you could probably do this part first and then minus whatever 10 over 5 is, and that's going to give you your answer. You're going to get 2 to the third, so that's going to be something minus 10 over 5, something minus something, subtract those two, you get your answer. Hope that helps. Now number 23, when you solve, I'm going to do, I'm going to do two of them for you, okay? So this means 2 times 2, this means 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Times one times one. This equals 1, obviously. This equals 4. This equals, I don't know. So you take 4 plus whatever this is plus 1, and you add them all up, and you get your answer. Good luck. Number 24, almost done, guys. Number 24. So remember, the opposite of dividing by 2, which is me giving the answer away for the other one, is times 2 times 2. Cross out the twins. X is going to equal whatever 2 times 9 is. And stop. Number 25. 36% uh, written as a fraction. That's 36 over what number? Please don't miss that. Look at your study guide if you think you don't know it. 10% of 8. 80 is 8, which is true. Should 9%, which is a little bit smaller than this, be a little bit more than 8 or a little bit less? Hopefully you can use your brain and figure that out. 27, you get no help. We've done that so many times. Number 28, which inequality below shows that. There's really, you, you better figure this out because of this and because of this. Those are your two hints. Number 29, you need to divide both sides by 5, okay? Cross out the twins, and x is going to equal something. Number 30, when you take the absolute value of a number, it is always going to be positive. So all you have to do is add those two. And that's it. Guess what? That's it. And then there's a bonus, and you're not going to get help with that. Hope that was helpful.